Units were scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are next. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw. And now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me this week, we have Stuart. Hello. We have Scarecrow. Good morning. Finally, we have a Scarecrow. Takes He appears every now and again and scares children and then runs away. Last but not least, <laughs> last but not least we have Eugene. Hello. So this week on the podcast, we're covering the Independence Day video we were going to cover last week, but forgot about. Um, my bad. Accidentally closed the show notes, couldn't work out where the hell they were. So owning that one, my bad. Um, but it's it, in reality, it's really Stuart's fault. Um, because, to be honest, I can't go five minutes without blaming Stuart. See? He ran away. He knows I'm going to throw him out the airlock because it's my fault. Anyway, so this week we're covering that. We're also looking at the new Star Wars Cantina. Uh, sorry, Death Star Cantina that is opening in Brisbane soon. So, that's going to be cool. I hope, I hope they have the Cantina music playing. Oh, do, 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 The question is, will the trays be wet? Uh. Robot chicken for the win. Anyway. Now, the question is, can we convince Kylo Ren to come along? <laughs> another question. Okay, Stuart, we heard another question, and then silence. Congratulations, your <laughs> microphone is still broken! <laughs> So, okay, so Stuart, you're no longer the news guy. You're now the oh god, my microphone is totally screwed. Technical issues guy. How do you feel? I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. Um. So first up, that Independence Day a couple of weeks ago dropped a video, which is sort of like a news segment. Um, highlighting the past, sort of, the time period between back then and now. So, we've watched it. we watched it a couple of times. I'm desperately trying to find it again. It's up on uh, facebook.com slash save sci-fi. If you look in the news feed, it'll be in there somewhere. Or it'll be up on uh, Roland Emmerich's page, because he is the best. We love you. Just, just saying. Um, so... We're going to be covering that now. So, Stuart, it's time to break it down. It's all you, Stuart, all you. Yeah, my mic doesn't come out. <laughs> but that, sir, is half of the fun. So yeah, this is a funny little thing they pulled out a couple of weeks ago. It, it kind of caught me off guard, to be honest. I don't know if my mic is still working or not, so I'm winging it. Yeah, use the force. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to bring it up on. Um, there's a couple up on the Fox YouTube channel. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, I've, I have it up. The War of 1990. Yeah, it's it's called the War of 1996 and. A United World News Special, but there's actually a couple of others that have dropped. Oop, there it is. So we'll play that and just have a bit of a listen. And Incredible piece of technology. They're showing off the fighter jet. years ago, a craft this advanced would have been unimaginable. But so would the idea of extraterrestrials attacking our planet, pushing mankind to the brink of extinction. As we near the 20th anniversary celebration of the world's victory, we celebrate the heroes of the War of 96. Mankind. So yeah, it, it, the first shot is just him showing off the fighter jet. You see it in the background behind him, and man, that thing looks sexy. It really, really does. And that 
Words should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. President Whitmore's words united us as a species and will reverberate in our hearts forever. We're going to live on! So somehow, they're, they're, what they're doing is they're playing the, the speech, the impromptu speech he made, standing on top of the Jeep with the megaphone. Somehow that was recorded and is being constantly We're going replayed. To survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. And it's showing all the different ships crashed in the background and what looks legitimately... the Seriously, at 53 seconds, does that not look like Fallout New Vegas? <laughs> it does. It really does. Our world had been reduced to ash and rubble. And you see, um, you see destroyed cities being rebuilt. From those ashes would rise a new age of growth, technology. You even see the fighter jet, which I never noticed this, but it has a shield. Yeah, they've been... Um, you see it at 102. They've been retrofitting things uh, quite a bit. Yeah, I, I know they've been retrofitting, and I know that's effectively... It's basically what looks like a combination of an F-22 Raptor and a Joint Strike Fighter with trippy-looking side-engine dealies. Above all, unity. In 1998... Leaders from the nations of the world join together to establish a global peace. They do enjoy their trippiness. Oh yeah, and so basically, what happened is in '96 the world got together and joined forces that effectively created the the UN. All of the different people who hated each other now don't hate each other because aliens. Um, and it's got shots of like different countries and sort of fighting against each other and all now fighting next to each other. No, uh, at the original independence, they actually got banned in Lebanon. Really? Yeah, because uh, because it depicted uh, Iraq and Lebanon soldiers working together. Wow. That is hilarious. Oh, you mean like Matt Riley's books are banned in France? Yeah. <laughs> oh, France and Matthew Riley's books. <sighs> oh, they got pissy over the fact that the first most pop the first most well-known one ice station had them as bad guys yeah so, they got so, a, they got a tiny bit pissy about that just a little bit just like america got so pissy went, about seven ancient wonders not as much not as much no. i know but then so what does riley do in one of the later ones he makes france the bad guys again oh yeah he but blows up their only nuclear powered aircraft carrier yeah yeah, yeah, makes them because the bad guys and then some, and then just, yeah, it goes from there. So anyway, so now we move on and explain the backstory for the sort of the gap between what happened to the main characters. So... Is today the director of the Earth Space Defense. So that was the, um, the hacker that gave the virus to the mothership is now the head of Earth Space Defense. So many people were lost. As we know, it was a horrible event in which much of the world suffered, and that's what's brought us together. ESD has been an international collaborative grand effort, and our main goal, of course, is to keep us safe. And I've taken a leadership role in developing many aspects of this defense system. As you know, it's taken a huge effort to get a big military base on the moon, and the military base on the moon is looks really, really cool. It's the one from the trailer where you see the ship flying over fairly close and it lasering it and not a single fuck is given. And these orbiting units which have a big punch to them. 20 years ago, these weapons, like the Alien City Destroyer Cannon, were used against us with devastating results. Today, we're utilizing them to protect Earth as we got samples of their more powerful technology and as much else as we could. We could enhance our current arsenal and then figure out how we could use space defensively if we had to encounter somebody from afar. But let's not forget, behind all of that hybrid technology is the force of the United Military. One common enemy gave rise to the human spirit, the U.S. Army along with military forces from around the globe, joined the ESD. Growing up as the son of a legend, your path is pretty much set. 
Becoming anything other than the best fighter pilot was out of the question. I know I'd be proud of what we're doing here. We come from all over the world with one goal, be the best fighter pilots in space. It's a privilege to represent my country, China, and to honor my parents' memory. After the attacks in 96, there really was no room for feeling sorry for yourself. We all lost someone we loved. You just did what you had to do to get over it. Now, I don't want them to come back, but if they do, I'd feel pretty good about getting one of these fighters and blowing them out of the sky. The hybrid fighter is truly a marvel of modern day engineering. After successfully identifying anti-gravity devices on the alien spacecraft, the ESD was able to use this new technology to create a superior fighter jet. It's unclear as to whether ex-President Whitmore will attend the 20th anniversary event this year, but let's not forget the tireless warning that he repeated in nearly every speech after 96. It's not a matter of if the aliens return, it's a matter of when. So there's no real new footage in that one. Um, there's a few extra shots we haven't seen, but relatively speaking, maybe out of the five minutes of it, there might be only one or two clips that are actually new. Now, there's actually another one slightly further up the page called United We Survive, Join the ESD, which I haven't actually seen yet. So I'm going to be watching this with you guys for the first time. That is for about a minute and a half. So. 20 years ago... You know what? Links would be kind of nice. What? Links would be kind of nice. Oh, shut up, you. I forgot to link the other guys, so... Um... <sighs> okay, um... There is the link to the video I'm about to start watching. Okay? Ready? So... Three, two, one, go. of extinction. We must never forget our survival is only possible when we stand together. Extinction. We have uh, I don't know what's going to go on. Yeah. Why is it still cutting out? I don't know. It sounds like it's auto-ducking, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, and unity. Wow, there's actually a shot of the orbital defense platforms. One, two, three, four, five of them. As a planet. So... And that strength has brought us the power to survive. When the world was brought to its knees, the army was there to fight back. They promised us that this would never happen again. Uh -oh. They have been the driving force in United Nations around the world to form the most powerful weapon against another attack. The Earth Space Defense. If the Earth Space Defense was a real thing, would you guys join? Probably not, no. Yeah. I wouldn't mind working, like, the the command center on the moon. That'd be pretty cool. But flying a jet? No, that's not me. I'm not smart enough to do anything like that. If they let me fly, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> that could be, like, someone on radar, but that's about it. Yeah. Ooh, we get to see the alien space guns. Brave men and women of the ESD are making sure that the War of 96 will never happen again. Join Earth Space Defense. Next time, we will be prepared. No. Next time you won't be prepared. You're going to have a really bad day. <laughs> so, so that's all the different trailers that have... Dropped through Independence Day in the last couple of weeks. Um, I love all of the comments in the trailer. <laughs> it's like, looks like something in Starship Troop. Yeah, it does. Um, but the biggest well, difference is... Thing or not. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Now, overall, I'm still... F <laughs> I'm still fairly excited about the second Independence Day. And that's... Got, that's Originally, I was very much like... Do we have to do another Independence Day? But I've sort of shifted to the other end where I was like, Oh my god, this is going to be great! And now I'm settling around about the middle. 
<laughs> yeah. A little bit like... This looks like it's going to be pretty good, though. It, it's either going to be really good or catastrophically bad. Well, let's put it this way. There are parts of the first one that were catastrophically bad. This one looks like it's hit, hitting all the bad parts and improving on them and making the good parts truly, truly excellent. Oh, yeah. And I love Independence I think Day. there's one thing we can agree on. At least it'll be better than Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who, who wants Stuart. to watch Star Trek in this group? Who wants to watch Independence Day in this group? Okay, so, uh, if, if I had a choice, I could only watch one of those two movies. There is no, there's no contest between Independence Day and Star Trek. I would definitely, definitely, definitely watch Civil War again. You're fired. <laughs> I've only seen it four times, okay? Uh, oh, crap stickles. What the hell? Oh, my battery thing fell out. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, shit. They got the internet. Uh-oh. There we go. Aha! It's fixed. I fixed it. <laughs> Broke it a little bit in the interim, but I fixed it. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, definitely really, definitely looking forward to Independence Day. So, yeah. Um, so, Scarecrow, you said just before we went on the air that they've announced a Transformers thing. What is the name of the new Transformers movie? Hmm. Turned into a robot. <laughs> it's like, okay, Scarecrow has turned into a robot. That's new. Scarecrow yeah, turned into a Transformer. <laughs> I have it up, so Errol? I'll say it. Transformers last night. It's, it's really good. Stuart went to say it, and all I heard was transform. La That's it. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. <laughs> so, Scarecrow. What is the new Transformers movie called? Nope, a whole lot of nothing. Like, I can hear him fumbling with the microphone. Okay, so... Stuart. It's called The Last Night. The Last Night. <clears throat> yeah. That's either gonna be... Catastrophically bad, or oh god, oh god, kill it with fire bad. What is going on? Anyway, um... Threw Scarecrow out the airlock because he was making way too much random noises opposed to saying things. Um, I'll let him sort his microphone out in peace. So, if you had a choice... Transformers 5 or Star Trek Beyond, which movie would you watch? Oh. Transformers. Tra yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. I'm going Transformers. Transformers? Uh, I, can I can at least partially enjoy Transformers. Yeah, no, it's just. It, 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 it burns. It's like it's like choosing your favorite STD. It really is. So... Sorry about that. My headset just decided it wanted to roll over. Yeah, it's fine. I just we tossed you out the airlock because you were just crackling and making all sorts of random noise. So I was like, "Yep, nope, you're done. Bye." <laughs> you ass. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, ooh. ask Echo the question. Yeah, if you had a choice to go to. A movie, and you can only watch one of them, Star Trek, or Star Trek Beyond, or Transformers 5, which one would you watch? Ouch. Yeah. You're asking me to choose between the same level of fail. Yeah, well, like I said a minute ago, it's like trying to choose which STD you want. <laughs> 
no, there's trying to choose what STD you want. That's one thing. This is like trying to choose which of your exes you want to hook back up with. I don't know. It depends how many at the same time. Oh, there's an idea. I choose to watch both of them at the same time on a split screen with the same audio plan. One audio on one side, oh one audio God. on the other. That's that, it. Would, that would help me to no end. <laughs> that's, that's Gitmo level torture, that is. I'd rather watch our Teletubbies in all honesty. <laughs> the Teletubbies. One Teletubby with Star I'd Trek. Probably, one Teletubby with... <laughs> Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> and the third te- Teletubby comes in with X Men Apocalypse. Hey. <laughs> the, my my point is. The only one who's optimistic for, for X Men. When when X Men Apocalypse is the good choice, you know that shit's gone sideways. <laughs> the only one who's and, and when Scythe. When sci-fi fans go, you know what, I would rather watch Home and Away than Star Trek or Transformers. That really says a lot. And for those who don't know what Home and Away is, you don't want to know. You just just don't don't even Google it. You really don't want to know. It's bad. It's really, really bad. I would sooner shack up with Janeway. Yeah. Speaking of Home and Away, is Alf still alive? I think he's the only original cast member left. Yes, he's still alive. Bastard just don't die. He's fucking immortal. Um, anyway. <laughs> well, I think he's a time lord. <laughs> yeah, just randomly for no apparent reason he just regenerates. <laughs> oh god, I just realised we're talking about Home and Away rather than sci-fi stuff because the choice of sci-fi stuff is so bad. <laughs> That's it. That's this belongs to shows that got cancelled. Yes, shows that got cancelled. Home and away. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> okay, if that one actually got cancelled. No. Then I'm pretty no. If Home and Away and Neighbours both got cancelled, I'm pretty sure there would be parties in the streets yeah, around the entire well, country. <laughs> oh. Also, that was Robbie. You know how I'm at at the moment, hiding from my mother, dear. <sighs> Okay, let's I see. Missed, um, I never missed anything since I've never even heard of the show. Think the bold and the beautiful, and then amplify the fail by 10,000 times. And make it Australian. I think the only positive thing that's come out of any of them was a couple of the big name actors that have moved over to the state started on them. Um, but other than that, 99.9% of what they do is, oh god, oh god, kill it with fire. It's the sort of show where it takes an entire season to see if, when the coffee boils, is it going to be hot enough? Just just the whole season. Just to work I that remember, out. I remember actually put, willingly putting Neighbours on when I was playing an old PC game called Radix Beyond the Void because it, it would actually keep my parents away from the room. For while I was playing the game it would just keep them away I'm like okay I can play in peace because Neighbours is on if you want to know if the coffee's hot enough you take the coffee pot you throw the contents at the person that wants to know and then if they scream then yes the coffee's hot enough (laughs) okay that would actually have been a major improvement for some of the cast members of that show alright um Let's have a look at... What's the webpage called, Stuart? It's, um... The webpage that lists all cancelled TV shows. Uh, I don't know. Is it cancelled or renewed? I'm trying to remember what the bloody t- webpage is called. The webpage has got a I whole know, list of shows. I know the two really two big ones that were announced was Castle and Agent Carter. Oh, yeah. That sent... Both of those sent ripples across the... The interwebs of... <laughs> there was a disturbance in that, there was a disturbance oh, yeah. that day. Um, so, yeah. There was a disturbance in the Schwartz. Okay, so... Well. Here's the scorecard for shows that... Um, who's the scorecard for things that are cancelled? I'm just going to... 
I've got a list in front of me, so I'm just going to look for the word cancelled. Um, so the Astronaut Wives Club is cancelled. Blood and Oil is cancelled. Castle is cancelled. The Family cancelled. Gallivant cancelled. Marvel was a ama- Gallivant was actually a really yeah and fade out yeah pretty much. Um, Agent Carter is cancelled. It's the first of the Marvel TV series to get the axe, but is it the last? Um, the Muppets, cancelled. What was that? I was going to say, the reason ABC cancelled it is because it was they were expected really good ratings on this show, but the problem is they ran it as a Christmas season re- replacement for eight weeks a year. Yeah. They can't expect they can't expect real good ratings when you're running a replacement show over Christmas. Yeah, they were expecting that tells you that tells you how stupid the execs are on this one. Yeah, um, Nashville is gone. The Muppets gone. Of Kings and Prophets gone. Rookie Blue gone. Well, the only reason we lost the Muppets is we lost the creator. So yeah. Whispers, gone. Wicked City, gone. So pretty much everything else on ABC is not cancelled yet, according to this webpage. TVLine.com, TV shows renewed or cancelled. Um, let's well, see. It's only, it's only a matter of time until a major BBC, ABC show gets the axe. Yeah. Okay, so this Everyone is... Yeah. Yeah. So this is CPS. What, what channel is... Um... Channel is Shields on. Uh, Shield is renewed. It is ABC. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is CBS. Agent from Angel from Hell gone. CSI Cyber gone. Extend. Oh, that's gonna be off. Gone. The Good Wife. Molly and uh, Mike and Molly. Person of Interest. Rush Hour. Yes, Scorpion is renewed. Under the Dome is cancelled. Enjoying that. Why? Stupid CBS. Okay, so this is Fox. Everything is cancelled. Uh, there's a character missing from your list, David. Yeah? CBS cancelled Supergirl, but it got picked up by CW. Yeah, yeah. It... And they're moving back. It... Yeah, that that's on moved as opposed to cancelled. So, um, so uh, Fox, everything on Fox is cancelled. They're shutting down the network because they don't make TV anymore. Yay! Wait, wait, wait what? Files. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Has okay. been renewed. <laughs> the pro- the, 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 properly, fo- the Fox list is these are the list of shows that are cancelled. If I don't list it, there's a good chance it's still going. Um, American Idol is. Thankfully, finally gone. gone. God damn. Talk about the thing. Hallelujah. Pretty much. Border Town. Gone. Cooper Barrett's Guide to Surviving Life. Gone. Sounds uh, like a bad show. Yeah. Grandfathered. Gone. The Grinder. Isn't that a porn thing? On Fox? Okay. Am I thinking of just Grinder? I think I'm thinking of Grinder. Um, knock, knock, live. Go on. Minority Report. No surprise. That was a really not a good show. Um, second chance. Um, Looking Glass and the F- Frankenstein Code. Go on. Um, and that's it for Fox cancellations. Um, now, out of Fox, we might be getting a new X-Files season. Um, it's unconfirmed yet, but a Uh, lot of the actors have... They just confirmed it? Yeah, they confirmed it this morning. I saw it. I saw the post on it. Sweet. I saw that a lot of the actors and stuff were interested in doing it, but I didn't hear an official confirmation. Um, let's do it. Do the Google. Um, best time ever with Neil Patrick Harris. Go on! Now, this is... (laughs) This is all NBC. 
How does he get a show called The Best Time Ever? I, I don't even know. Anyway. This is Neil fucking Patrick Harris. Yeah, f- fair point. Um, Crowded is gone. Game of Silence is gone. Hannibal is gone. Heartbeat is gone. Shock Horror Thank Gasp. God. Heroes Reborn is gone. Uh, Mr. Robinson, gone. Uh, the Mysteries... Heroes just never, can, never seem to get a fair shot. Yeah, the Heroes season was really weak, though. So, yeah. Um, the Mysteries of Laura, gone. The Player is unofficially cancelled? And now officially cancelled. Okay. Um, telenovela? Is that a... Th- that's a word? Apparently that's a word. Um, is cancelled. Truth be told. Undateable. All gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, last but not least, we have... Um, the CW. Okay. America's next top. The mother of all striper spots in this level. What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Okay, so the CW, um, America's next top model is gone. Woo! I'm. But it's been revived by VH1. <laughs> I guess yes. I guess losing idol and next model next top model is too much of a thing to ask for in one year. Thanks for the airlock, boys. What you were making lots of random noise. Um, con- the guy sitting next to me. That's not my fault. Containment. Ass. Containment premieres. <laughs> containment premieres at mid season. Gone. Ah, shit. The messages gone. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Significant mother. It's also gone. So that's just the list of stuff for these shows. I don't know about anything else. Um, Stuart, do you have a another list that has more shows on it that are cancelled and renewed? Um. <laughs> Stuart, you're the news guy. You better know this shit. All I know is bad shows get cancelled. That's all I. That's all I care about. Well, actually, I take that. Wait, the, did you just canceled. say bad shows get cancelled? Castle got cancelled. How dare you call that a bad yeah. show? Send all your I mail to Stuart at. Say. <laughs> 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 I think it's time. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of hate mail to toss him out the airlock with that one. <laughs> so, I found another list of shows. Let's see what's on here that may have been cancelled. Um, Let me rephrase that. Nothing. Actually, I was about to say nothing important, but then again, that still kind of throws this castle onto the bus. <laughs> oh, hopeless. I think we know who's going under the bus at this point. Oh, yeah, he's, he's been under the bus for a while. Okay, um, let's see. Agent X is gone. What the hell is that? I have no idea. I know, um... It's, on, it's, it's, it's from TNT. I know this, the, um, the Agents of... Yeah, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spin-off's gone. The Awesomes are gone. Awkward is gone. Banshee, gone. The Bastard Executioner, gone. Benders, gone. Mm, poor Avatars. Avatar the Last Airbender. Anyway, um, Bitten, The Brink. Uh, oh, I don't know how to say that. Cassius and Clay? I'm going with that. Gone. Chasing Life. Children's Hospital. Codes of Conduct. They cancelled Children's Hospital. Does that mean all the children are better? Or are they just going to be left to die in silence? Yes. Oh, Scarecrow's dying. 
He's trying to at least... He's gonna cough. die, die quietly. Yeah. Continuum is gone! See, Stuart? Badly. That's another show that is really good. And you said only bad shows get cancelled. So... It was going down there. Da Vinci's Demons is gone. Dominion is gone. Downtown... Downton Abbey is gone. Episodes? There's a TV show called Episodes. Wow, oh, that's original. That's random. Faking It is Easy. gone. Getting One gone. Gigi does it? What the hell is that? Oh, that's just random. Um, gone. Oh, there's a whole chunk of dead things here. Harvest. Heaven. Hell on Wheels. Uh, Hemlock Grove. Hindsight. All gone. Kevin from the Kevin from work, Carrie and Pell gone gone. The league, the football league. Is it a football league? Please tell me it's football. Have they cancelled football? Please tell me they cancelled football. No. No. Legend. You're not invited to the United States. <laughs> the league legends gone gone. Lost girl gone. Mad dogs gone. Manhattan. How am I only up to M? Married is gone. Moonbeam City is gone. Oh, Mr. Robot's coming back soon. Sweet. Um, Mr. Selfridge is gone. Public Morals. We don't have any. Recovery Road. Um, Rizzoli Isles. Royal Pains. Satisfaction. The Soul Man. Strike back. Switch to birth. That's gone now? Hmm. Um, togetherness. Okay. There is way more TV shows than I thought there was. Like, this list is still going. <laughs> like, I cannot believe how long this list is. Unforgettable is gone. Utopia is gone. Wallander? I think? Is gone. Oh, and last but not least, on the bottom of the list... Game of Thrones is gone. Well, it's not gone. It's just on hiatus for a couple of years until the next book's out. No, not even not even going to react to that. You're just going to totally ignore me. Sigh. Yeah, I have season six. You have season what? We have a new season, so I don't care. <laughs> You'll care in a couple of weeks when the new season's over. Stuff to get to me through Dark Matter. Hey, hey, we get Dark Matter. I'll be good once Dark Matter comes back. <laughs> <sighs> and for those of us who enjoy a good disaster show, I have good news. The last ship has been confirmed for a third season. Oh. Oh. Yay. Oh, can that die? <laughs> no, because it's not zombies. Uh, if it just... was zombies, I'd let it die, but. Yeah. See, I'd have watched. Actually, the first part of the last ship. I watched up to the part where they blew up the reef and escaped the Russians. I think they were Russians. And that was it. That's as far as I got. I sort of went, yeah, no, I'm done with this. It's boring. Goodbye. I haven't no. watched it since. So guess what, guess what Fox is bringing back? Firefly? Prison break. Oh, yeah. That's one of the reasons why, um, spoiler alert, in DC Legends of Tomorrow, the thing that happened last week happened. Because they need him yeah. for that. Well, they're both going to be back. So... Yeah, which I find weird because Prison Break took place in that world in like a 6 to 12 month period while that main character was dying of cancer. And you can actually tell that by looking at the tombstone at the end. Even though the show finished in like 2010 or something, the tombstone... 2009. 2009 the, the actual tombstones dated 2005 when the show first started. So yeah. yeah. I'm happy. I am happy that that is back. Yeah, it was a good show. It was well written. Got a tad repetitive. I just, but I just like, well I just um, after watching, I just think I'm just. Stuart, you're not making noise again. Uh... After what? After DC. 
After like. Yep. I don't even know why I've still got you on the podcast. You haven't. Your system has been broken for weeks. So anyway, yeah, uh, I know what you mean. After watching them in Legends of Tomorrow, working together side by side. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to them working again. Do you think they'd be typecast as brothers slash friends? Because they seem to pop up like that all over the place ever since Prison Break. <laughs> I, I wouldn't surprise if their contracts say that they both have to be involved in a show. <laughs> That'd actually be fucking hilarious. It would not surprise me if that was the case. Uh, so... Anyway, it's about time we hand it over to Eugene to do the model report. And this week's model report, we're only going to cover one new model that's coming out soon. Mobius Models has announced the they're reissuing the Tumblr from the Dark Knight trilogy. Nice. And this one you can buy as the Tumblr or it can be built as the weaponized version with the cannons from the last Dark Knight movie. Ooh. And it also includes a figure of Bane with it. Nice. Um, I do not have a release date on it, but um, or an actual pre-sale price for suggested retail as yet. But this is coming, and based on the little bit I read, I, that there, it's going to include both versions in the box. I suspect that the original release of the Tumblr will be discontinued, just because this <clears throat> this one will have have both versions in the box. Yeah, uh, it's another one twenty fourth, one twenty fifth scale kit. At which the other ones were out in. So that's the same scale as your standard plastic model cars. And if, if the original one is any indication, I expect this one to be just as heavy of a box with all the parts. Probably heavier. Because the original Tumblr... Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, only heavier because they have those extra stuff in it. Well, the, the Mobius Tumblr kit... When you pick up the box, it's probably, oh, I'd say half an inch, if not bigger, than a standard car box. And when you compare the weight of that box to a regular car kit, it's got weight to it. Excellent. So if I'm going to throw it at somebody, uh, I, it's definitely got the mass to do some injuries. Note to self. Yeah. I'll just throw a Zoid kit at your head. Don't throw Zoids. Why would you do that? Honestly, who throws a cupcake? And I would like <laughs> to invite all of our, I invite all all of our listeners out to the Harrisburg Comic Con in a couple of weeks, because Perry County Hobbies will be there as a vendor. Yes, and so will Master Eugene. So make sure you go out, check it out. Say we saw you on the podcast for. A, I don't know, is, are they going to get a special discount if they mention the podcast? No one will. I, <laughs> I give everybody a 10% discount off suggested retail. There you go, look at that, 10% if you That's mention good. the podcast. It's the same price, I say have, have everything marked, so. <laughs> but, I will have, but I will have some special items that... Um, are going to be very hard to find available at the convention. And it's items I have mentioned during the podcast. Excellent. I'll have the, uh, I'll have the Dark Knight set of model kits with the San Diego Comic-Con figures. Ooh. And I'll have the um, red shirt set with the Gen Con promos, which are very hard to find, too. Nice. If if I had a working Iron Man suit, I would just fly it from convention to convention. It's like you need to pay rent. Fuck you, I'm Iron Man. Wee. <laughs> Off into the distance. <laughs> you need to pay entry. Fuck you, I'm Iron Man. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Anyway, is that it for the model report? 
for the model report. Sweet. Uh, model report was brought to you by Perry Candy Hobbies. Make sure you swing by and say hi. And just for, yeah. And definitely go and check out the convention dealy that he's going to, that I almost instantly forgot the name of. Had it on the tip of my brain, and then it's gone. Um, Fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So complex. That's the one. So, anyway, Stuart, if you can get your microphone to work for a couple of minutes, it's time to do the news! Alright, let's see how long this lasts. Give me all of a minute. You didn't even last the sentence that said minute. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Cut, cuts out halfway through as well. Yeah. So Bandai and Namco are teasing a new Dragon Ball Z video game. Yes, I heard it's a sequel to it. Xenoverse. Because there's rumours going around that it's going to be Xenoverse 2, and Xenoverse 1 was spectacular. It's one of my favourite DVC yeah, games. Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be a te- uh, it's gonna be a time frame. Yeah, yeah but I've got no idea what the hell you're saying. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Heard that quite and clear. Angus. <laughs> Scarecrow, are you shooting lasers? No, that's the guy sitting next to me. He's playing with a T twenty one on Battlefront. <laughs> pew pew pew. Stuart. So yeah, uh, oh. so yeah, this year marks the thirtieth of it. Someone is me. Oh no, somebody's sniping sniping Scarecrow's friend person next to him. Run away, friend person, run away. I think someone's also firing rockets at him by the look of things. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn the lights over, don't you? Yeah. Still, this news thing is not happening. It's just not happening. Get angry. Your microphone seems to work quite happy when you're angry. You my microphone is the Hulk? No, you become the Hulk and your microphone gets scared of you. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna leave. Oh, God. <sighs> anyway, moving right along. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, technical issues in a live show. I've got one channel popping like crazy because he's got a crappy cheap headset on. I've got one channel dropping in and out randomly because he's calling in from America. And I've got one channel where the guy can't keep the volume up on his microphone. Most professional podcast ever. Uh, you can't talk. We've got a lot of background noise from your end. How is that background noise from my end? It's like a constant drone sound, like you've got a parrot over your freaking shoulder. Okay, does this sound any better at all? Really? I shouldn't have a constant drone noise. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh-oh. Wait, can am I cutting out any more or not? Not at the moment. No. Okay, I changed headsets. Yay! <laughs> I have backup headsets for everything. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, so, King, so uh, moving on with the news now that I can. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts three, and the Final Fantasy, Fantasy seven remake will not be releasing before April twenty seventeen. So, what did you say about a thirty? What did you say about a thirtieth anniversary? Oh, uh, the thirtieth anniversary of Dragon Ball Z is this year. Yeah. In animated form. Nice. So, wouldn't it surprise me, um, around because we're about a month out from E three that we get something around the E three time for it. Nice. Wow, we're a month out from E3. Jesus. <laughs> oh no, that's a horror. That's a bad thing. Stock up on Red Bull. Stock Look, up on Red Bull. You're gonna be awake for a week. Oh, it's not just that. Is um Sydney Supernova is the weekend after is the weekend of E3. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying I'm is you, be, Supernova at day, E3 at night. Oh yes. No 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 no. The week it's E3 is during the week. Oh. And then and then Supernova was that weekend. So if it makes you feel any better, you can sleep on the plane ride down. Yeah, I intend to. And in the hotel when we get there. For about the 35 minutes that the plane ride takes. <laughs> actually, actually, it's about an hour and a half, so I'll take that. <laughs> That'll be more sleep than you'll get for the rest of the week combined. Uh, if we need to talk to Jody. 
Oh no, I've already, I've already told her about. I've already told her what's gonna happen. She's like, she's like, just don't wake me up. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> that's 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 not the plan we have in place with her at all. It has nothing okay. to do with spiking every drink you have with high amounts of Red Bull. You know, we could just we could just ask her what flight they're taking. We then bribe the flight attendants. She doesn't have the itinerary. Yeah, she doesn't have the itinerary. I do. <laughs> I booked everything it's, in my name, so I'm This can be fixed. Yeah, excellent. She doesn't have access to my email. <laughs> it's funny That's how he still wants to think. It's funny how he still thinks that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, tormenting Stuart aside, um, let's move on with Can the news. Go? So yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, going back to the story, um, Kingdom Hearts three and Final Fantasy seven remake will be out next year. Ah. But but. For Kingdom oh. Hearts fans and Final Fantasy fans for this year, we get Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD. Okay, all I'm going to say is... 2.8? If, if your story yeah, is... Yeah, this is 2.8. I'm going to say is, if your story is called Final Fantasy and it is not the last one, that is not a Final Fantasy, damn it. That is the almost <laughs> the Final Fantasy. Might be the last one after about 70 zillion goddamn chapters. <laughs> oh, at this point it should be called almost maybe kind of slightly a little bit towards maybe the, the final ish kind of fantasy and each generation of this game should not be called final fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 they should add another wow scarecrow's gone all derpy again they should add another sort of another word to the front of the title so it's almost the final fantasy and then almost sort of the final fan- fantasy that almost sort of kind of a little bit the Final Fantasy, and that every time they add a new number to the end, there should be a new word added to the front, and that would just be hilarious. Well, face palming for Ed Stewart's comment just before and broke my Skype. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I went all weird there because Serves it broke my you Skype. Right, all right. Moving, uh, moving along to the, uh, moving along with the news. Uh, so we know that um, there's one more Wolverine movie. This is going to be the last one. But Brian Singer has pitched to Fox to do a female Wolverine movie. Tw- uh, that's twenty X twenty three, isn't it? Yep. But in the comics, she's actually female Wolverine. Yeah. Because yeah, she's got like blades coming out of her feet and fucking all sorts of shenanigans. Yep, should be really interesting. And they are doing, and um, there has been, and work has begun on an X Force movie. Uh, X Force is sort of like, uh, it, um, it like uh, like Deadpool, um, um, Alpha Alpha Red, yeah. Saber Tooth. Yeah, it's sort of like X Men, but not necessarily the heroes. So not this. It's it's set in the X Men universe, but it's not X Men. It's sort of like when the Avengers split into two different Avengers teams. It's almost like the secondary team that goes into the crazy unofficial shenanigans that the X-Men don't normally go into. Is that right? Pretty sure that's right. Somewhere. Yeah, like um, so we have a teaser for the last for Transformers the last night. Wait, what? When the hell did this drop? Just now. Good morning. Holy crap! What the hell? Doesn't really show anything. It just literally, it just shows like Optimus's eyes, but they're purple. Okay. So what you're saying he's is going, he's going super. Safe. He's going to the dark side. Remember, his eyes are normally blue. Yeah. But when they go when they're Decepticons. They got red eyes. So he's sitting half half. He's sitting halfway between the two. At least I think it's of opt- yeah. So yeah, it's like Optimus. It's definitely Optimus, and he's just breathing. It's like he's turning to Darth Vader. Perfectly timed laser time blasts are perfectly timed. Okay, really quickly, <laughs> just just as a question, we've got this up on Deadliest Fandom right now. Who would win? Iron Man in Hulkbuster gear versus Megatron from the god awful Transformers movies. I put my money on the Hulkbuster. Even though we I mean, seriously, 
I'll just, I'll Tony just... is... Megatron doesn't have half a brain cell to rub together. Remember that the Hulkbuster is not designed to fight combat, like, with missiles and shit. It doesn't really have that. The Hulkbuster is designed to, to stop the Hulk. Um, so it's... we haven't really seen what the Hulkbuster has. Well, in the comics, it's a, clo- it's a close quarters suit. Yeah, but we don't know exactly what movie verse Tony is stuck in the damn thing. Fair point. We can only go on what's shown on the in Age of Ultron, which is that it punches the shit out of things, and somehow flies. Yeah, so it's got a it's got a hydraulic ram puncher, and it's got engines powerful enough to fly rings around just about everything else yeah. to get its mass moving. Well, th- th- don't forget, Megatron is almost a third taller than. Well, put it this way: the Hulkbuster is twenty four feet tall. Megatron is thirty six, or is it twenty six and thirty four? Something like that. The point is that Megatron is at least three to four meters taller than Hulkbuster, but Hulkbuster so is it, it's substantially make it really easy for... heavier than Megatron, which I find absolutely hilarious. It's just going to make it significantly easier for Tony in the Hulkbuster to completely decapitate Megatron by rapidly punching him in the nuts. <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so, sorry for stealing your news segment, Stuart. Is there anything else? It happens. Every week. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the uh, season finale for Legends of Tomorrow is this week. Excellent. We'll cover that next week. As is the season finale for Flash. No. The second last episode Are this we... week for Flash and Arrow. No, Flash, is at Flash and Arrow next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get your dates right, boy. And X Men is next week, isn't it? Next Thursday. So after next week's podcast. No, X Men's this week. X Men's this Thursday. It is? I thought it was next week. Yeah. No, it comes out this week. I've got tickets booked. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll have to go and watch that. Might even get a sunny bay. So we'll cover that next week on the podcast. We're not doing a special podcast because it's X Men. Uh, unless it is spectacular, and then we'll do a special podcast for it. Yeah. Also, I have some uh, some news for myself. Oh god! I see. I see you down there. I have pro- I have procured a double pass to an advanced screening of the Warcraft movie. Do you what? And Iron Grenade. You poor bastard. Hey, I like Warcraft, so screw you guys. <laughs> I, I used to like Warcraft. Then I, I still do up. love Warcraft. Right, give me Ark Survival any day of the year. All right, we've got two minutes left, really quick. Um, who would win in the following fight? I've forgotten what it was. Wow. Was it the one that I said? Uh, no, it was... Um... Because my one was good. God damn it, what was it? I had it all this in my brain only a minute ago. Talking about the... Oh, that's right. The Pacific Rim Jaeger... Um, versus the Power Rangers Megazord. <laughs> None of them. They both get killed by Voltron. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> get out. <laughs> That's how you tick off fans. Oh, yeah. So, okay, which version? Uh, Ranger. Gen 1. The original. Original. There is only one Power Rangers Megazord, and that's up until the point where the White Tiger Sword turned up. So you've got Dragon Sword, you've got Titanus, and you've got the original Megazord. On the Power Rangers side, and you've got the Jaeger on the other side, just one. The uh, Gypsy, Gypsy, whatever it's called. Gypsy Danger, I'll put my money on Gypsy. Gypsy Danger? Because no matter how good the Megazord is, when it comes down to it, they are not truly synchronized. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's it. We're done for the week. Trying to drive one. And that, we're done for the week. It's got 40 seconds left, so we'll catch you next time. Make sure you check out uh, facebook.com uh, slash save sci fi, facebook.com slash save sci fi podcast, facebook.com slash the deadliest fandom, where all of these versus pictures are posted. And uh, facebook.com slash garrison7, they are posting all sorts of really cool character stuff. Now, Stuart, you get the final say. Um, honestly, Power Rangers Megazord, Gypsy Danger, you've got 10 seconds, go. Told you, Voltron. You suck. You ruined the end of the episode. I would love to see that fight. I'm tempted to edit it together. Like, really corny. 
Like, one shot of Gypsy Dage doing a punch, and then the shot of Parry just making a sort of exploding. Bye! Bye!